Let's use pixelated halftones to shade this character in Illustrator with no textures or outside plugins required. First thing we need to do is select the areas we want shaded and add gradients to them. We're going to be using black to white gradients for obviously our shadows and highlights. I'm going to add gradients to all of my shading areas. You can use any of them. If you want to use the mesh gradient tool, you can. Freeform gradient, radial gradient, normal linear gradient, all of them work. Just make sure your shadows are completely black and wherever you'd like it to disperse to becomes white. Okay, once you're done adding your gradients, select each shape, go to my appearance panel, click this little FX down here and click on the word rasterize. I'm going to swap it from CMYK to bitmap and then I'm going to go down to other. For larger pixels, you want to make this number smaller. For smaller pixels, you want to make this number larger. I'm going to start with 25. And now you have pixels shading your artwork. If you would like to adjust the size of your pixels, you can adjust it here. I'm going to up mine to 30. So now you can see the pixels are a bit smaller. If you'd like your pixels to blend in a bit more with the color of your artwork, you can always adjust the opacity and the blending mode. I am going to go into my appearance panel. By default, if I lower the opacity right here, it's going to kind of appear a little bit gray, but if I swap this over to multiply and lower the opacity, it should blend in a bit more naturally. Hopefully you found this interesting and maybe can even apply this to some of your artwork. If you'd like more Illustrator and other design related tips and tricks, be sure to stick around.